In your dreams, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to you, Lord Nerevar Induril, High Resdania. Long forgotten forged anew, three belied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed, one you betrayed was three times true, Lord Vorin Dagath Dagath Or. Steadfast liegeman, faithful friend, bids you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain once again, break your bonds, shed cursed skin, and purge the Noir from Morrowind. Interesting. Three belied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. One you betrayed was three times true is probably Dagathur, right? Who was loyal to us, was guarding the heart for us. Interesting. Okay. seem to be doing all right for yourself. What can I do for you? I'm coming, Caius. Wealth beyond measure. Thanks for your report, but keep Zain Subani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshalaku camp to speak with Sol Matul and Nibani Mesa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of the prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me. So you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Here. This is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later. It should explain everything. Okay? As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesied Nerevarine? At first I thought you were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think, but I am sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition, and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. So, Zain uh, Zupani says Sul Matul and Nibani Mesa at Urshilaku Camp are the heads of the Nerevarine cult. So I'm sending you to speak with them, tell them your story, and have them test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. As heads of the Nerevarine cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies when you've spoken with them. Uh, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for expenses, and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmouth. Okay. Before you go to Urshilaku camp, see Somodus Vunis and Krulius Puntanian at Fort Moonmouth. I've asked them to put aside some potions and scrolls for you, courtesy of the Emperor. In particular, you'll want the Cure Potions. I hear the Blight is very bad up north, and use the Divine Intervention Scroll if you find yourself in over your head. It will get you safe to an Imperial Cult Shrine where you can heal, refit, and try again. Okay, Samudius Vunus and Krulius Pontanian. Okay, cool. We can do that. The package you gave me described the prophecy's conditions and you seem to match them. An orphan, an outcast. A youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents. Standard, vague prophecy stuff. I can see how it would be nice to have an Erevarine in our pocket. You know, just in case, but the Emperor and his advisors seem to think this prophecy is genuine. Whatever a genuine prophecy is, and we're going to take it seriously, aren't we, Analog Vernacular? The Emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions. I'm still skepti skeptical, but it's hard to believe this is all just coincidence. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, so I guess we will go to Moon Moth and talk to those people.
All right, let's see if I remember the names. I don't so think you're one of them. Nope. What is your business here? I've got nope. What did I do to deserve this honor? No, I don't think so. Walk with Stendar, citizen. Um, were you? You definitely. Would you like to become a lay servant? It is not possible to become a priest or consecrated cleric, blah, blah, blah. Cool, okay. Essential supplies. Your analog vernacular? Kaya said you'd come by. I've chosen um, from my best scroll stocks. I don't know your preferences or situation, but blessings and barriers always come in handy. Purity of body sets you up amazingly in a fight, and of course, divine intervention gets you safe to imperial cult shrines when all else fails. Here, they're paid for. Now, I don't know your budget, but you might also want to browse my selection for scrolls to suit your own personal style. Okay, second barrier, warrior's blessing, probably for strength. Purity of body. Don't know what that one does. Restore fatigue. It's not, not half bad. Are you the other one? Here we go. Yes, Kai said a friend was heading into the backcountry. We would need some potions. I've given you cures and fortifies. There's no charge, but if you'll take my advice and you can afford it, stock up on the cures. There are no Imperial Cult cure altars north of Aldrun. The one at Nisus is far to the west, and we've heard many recent reports of diseased creatures and blighted creatures in the northern wilds. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Do you sell... No, we got... Hold on. We'll check. Fortify strength. Let's get a fortify speed. And a fortify luck. Okay, yep, we've got Cure Common Disease. Um, we don't have the Blight one, though. I don't know if there is a spell for Cure Blight Disease. Okay. So we need to go to Margan first. Have we been to Margan at all yet? No, I don't think we have. Okay. And then I think we're heading north from there. So Aldrun and then to Margan, I believe.
We make a special trip just for you. Same low, right? Oh look, it's marked too. That is quite the trip. That is quite the trip we're gonna be making. Temple? It's a shrine, okay. Get away from me, weirdo. Is this like the one trader in town? I don't think. I have anything to sell. Speak quickly. Okay, so we're going to be leveling up strength, agility, and speed. We'll have some decent bonuses. Say your business. Willpower, huh? Mysticism, part of willpower. personality yeah mysticism so if I work on that for a little bit Okay, let's do a save. Into the wilds. Way up north, huh? Way, way up north. blighted yet. I'm guessing as we get further north, uh, more things are going to end up being blighted.
Don't think I'm gonna go in here, but... I kind of want it marked on the map. So it looks like we're on one side of this mountain and we need to get on the other side. I could levitate. And in fact, it kind of looks like I might have to. starting to be diseased. Okay, lots of Dwemer stuff over here, it looks like. Nice shot. Okay, I'm gonna try the telekinesis thing. Ring of far reaching. So, look at that. Since we're so far away, we don't even trigger the trap. I gotta remember, that's also gonna help us still. It'll be your blood here. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were aggro, bro. light enough that that might be worth grabbing. <laughs> eh, I'm not gonna bother with this right now. I don't even know what it is, but I don't need to be here. We got things to do. And we need to head that way.
Okay, an ancestral tomb. Okay, fire astronaut way over there. And our camp is gonna be over there somewhere. You can also see a Daedra. guys are pretty tough. Damn. So that's a day drop. Dorvan Mace. We'll take it. this oh yeah this is like right by the Urshilaku camp okay good that got marked on the map that's what I was hoping would happen and here they are damn they like living close to danger don't they Really close to another level up in mysticism. There it is. All right, so we need to find, well, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to here, really, but. Nibani Mesa? Yeah, and then they're gonna test me against the Nervarine prophecies, okay. Now, you may notice that uh, my voice may sound a little bit odd today. That's because, well, I've been sick. Um, I actually just tested uh, for the uh, big C-19. So, uh, yeah, it finally got to me. After all these years, I've been working at a university. And after all this time, this is the first time I've actually gotten it. I'm someone else. Leave me. Had to get me eventually, I guess, but managed to make it this long. All right, so we need to talk to these people. I'm and someone let's see. Else to bother. You come to talk? Then talk, Outlander. You want to speak to Sol Matul? You want to speak to Nibani Mesa? Have they sent for you? No. If they have not sent for you, then you will not speak to them. You are an Outlander. And Sol Matul is our chief. And Nibani Mesa is our wise woman. They will not speak to you. Oh, we'll see about that. I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? Fair enough. I'm sure there's someone else you can bother. That counts. Uh, I'm uh, someone else to bother. She's not hard to look at. All right, I don't know where they are, but we're going to go in here. Welcome, Outlander. I have a few humble items to offer for sale, or perhaps there is something you wish to discuss. So you want to speak with Sulmatul and Ibani Mesa? I doubt that is possible. You are an Outlander. and have no permission to speak with them. You cannot risk offending them. 
I suggest you speak with the Gulakan. Zabamut, his yurt is just across from mine, with a recommendation from a sub-chief like Zabamun. So Matua might be more willing to speak with you. Fair enough. slowly getting a little bit better at that. What is this? I cannot pick it up. Looks like a shield. Talk Outlander. Speak with respect and I will listen. Sulmatu will not talk to you. Nabani Mesa will not talk to you. You have no standing among us, Outlander. Okay. How about the Nerevrin prophecies? The Nerevrine prophecies are not for outlanders. Why would Sul Matul and Ibani Mesa speak to you about these things? Who are you that we should trust you? A fight to the death. Wow. Worthy deeds. Alright, let's try this one. Tell all I have learned of the Sixth House and the Nerevrine, and ask humbly to speak to Sul Matul. Hmm, these are not simple matters. You know a great deal more than I would have thought, and some of what you say is news to me. I believe you should speak to Sul Matul. Perhaps he will be angry with me, but I think I can bear that. Go to the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Sul Matul. Ask him your questions and tell him I have sent you. So is Ashkan like a name for like their leader? Well, look at this guy. What is the spell you got on you, bro? I'm sure there's someone else you can bother. Nope, it's gotta be you. So, my champion Zabamund has sent you to talk with me about the Nerevarine prophecies. Then go ahead, analog vernacular. Talk. I am very curious. You think you fulfilled the Nerevarine prophecies? You wish to be tested to see if you are the Nerevarine. No outlander may join the Nerevarine cult. If you were a clan friend and adopted member of the Ashlander tribes, then perhaps. I have an initiation rite in mind. If you pass this rite, I will adopt you as a clan friend of the Ashlanders, and then I will submit you to Nibani Mesa, our wise woman, who is skilled in oracles and mysteries, and who will test you against the prophecies. To be adopted into the tribe, you must undergo a harrowing. In a harrowing, you will be judged by the spirits of the ancestors to see if you are worthy. Go to the Urshalaku burial caverns and fetch me Sul Senapul's bone biter bow. Sul Senapul was my father, and his spirit guards his bone mold longbow deep in the burial caverns. Return to me with this bow, and I will adopt you into the Ashlander tribes as a clan friend. Okay, where is it at? The burial caverns lie to the south-southeast of the camp, a north-facing door and a little hill halfway between us and the slopes of the Red Mountains. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. Okay, north from the camp to the water, turn east. At a rock cairn on the beach, turn and head straight south until you find the door. The spirits of our ancestors guard the caverns. They will attack and will kill you if they can. Force your way past them or evade them. Get the bow and return to prove your worthiness. Okay, we have ourselves a goal. We need to become part of the clan. All right, so north from the camp. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Alright. Interesting that we're going to start me going north when it's to the south of us, but we're just going to follow these directions. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. Um, at a rock cairn on the beach, turn and head straight south until you find the door. Okay. So head this way till we hit the water, and then we're gonna go east. And I don't know what a cairn is, if I'm being honest. I might have to look that up. Okay, turn east. Okay, 
there's lots of rocks, so I'm gonna look up what a rock cairn is, because otherwise I'm gonna go right past this shit. Okay, it's a human-made stack of rocks, so it's this right here. So at this point, we head south until we find it, and apparently it's gonna be north-facing. Now, do they mean for me to follow this path or to literally just go straight south? I'm gonna F5 it right here. Where are you? There you are. Now, the bow I have currently is a bone mold, isn't it? Yeah. says straight south. Alright, we're gonna go literally straight south. So, it's gonna be halfway between us and the Red Mountain. So, it's gonna be somewhere right around here. So, we got a ways to go, it looks like. Should always check just in case I can get the arrow back. It's not stray, it's easy to stray. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Oh, that's probably it. Cool. Mummies. Chit and spear. They all chitten? Probably. Definitely different than uh, your standard ancestral tombs, huh? I like that detail. It's not really adding that much light, is it? it makes a little bit of a difference. destroyed the torch. It may have. Knowing this game. I think it did. Oh god. Okay, don't don't go into the water when you're holding a torch. It'll just obliterate it.
Creepy. Whoops. I actually think I might need levitate. I don't think I can make that jump. Maybe from over here. I mean, we can definitely levitate, but I'm just trying to see if I can make it from somewhere else. Dude, did you even jump, bro? Come on. I pushed the button. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Stupid game. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. Where you at? Stupid thing. Ooh, hey. I wonder if there's more up here. Maybe? No? Okay. Had to check. Short blade 85. We are cruising on the short blade right now. I love it. Um, let's see. Did I put healing on one of these? Yeah, it's on three. Take a magic potion. Very cool. Lots of scrolls in there. Dead adventure. Dwemer boots? Ooh, those things are freaking heavy. Cool. I guess the first Dwemer armor we've seen. Shard Mauler. At only 105, I don't think I want to carry that around. Roll Bone Helm. Ooh, yeah, the Orcish is worth a lot. Dude's got a mishmash of uh, different armors. Alright, that seems like the way to go. Curious what's over there, though. And since like our gear is light and our weapon is light, like even attacking now we use almost no fatigue. It's crazy. I might actually be stuck this time.
literally can't move. Am I stuck on the ceiling technically? Like, what's going on here? There we go. Right, I'm gonna use a fatigue potion. to be something worthwhile in here. No, nothing. Okay, I guess not. Oh, I missed this the last time. Let's finish it first. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.